Kate, when I first met you, I could never imagine the joy that you would bring into my life. After a short time, I quickly realized a couple of things. First was that you give me more joy than anyone could possibly give me. Second was that I would spend the rest of my life trying to give you that same joy. I know that God has designed us for each other and that through him, we will become one. In becoming one, he will bless our relationship and make us stronger together. Although he will bless us, it will not be without challenges, but I know that with God, weather the toughest storms. I love you and I cannot wait to spend the rest of our life together working towards God's goals for us. Chandler, you are the most perfect companion that I could ever imagine. I know that God designed you just for me and I am so blessed to call you mine. You make me laugh, you make me happy, and you make me a better person. I would not be complete without you. There is a space in my heart that can only be filled by your smile, your warmth, and your love. I knew from our very first date that we would build a life together, and with God we can build anything. I love you and I am so excited to be your wife. <laughs> no matter where life takes us, I will always be by your side. brought home a warm dark haired little bundle from the hospital. And it's hard to believe that the beautiful young woman you see before you is that same little bundle. Kate, I hope you feel like Cinderella today, like you did when you were three. When Kate was about three, uh, she kind of gave herself her own name. She called herself Cinza Katie, <laughs> which is a mashup Cinderella, Katie. So we hope you're uh, Hope you're feeling that way today. Chandler, over the past months you have spent and focused a lot of attention on this day. Painting flowers and dresses and Chandler saying yes, I agree. <laughs> Planning and preparations. And others have helped you, family and friends and probably Pinterest. But I also know that you have spent time thinking and talking together about what happens after today. Beyond the wedding, into your marriage, your life together. Many people become so wrapped up in this day that they forget their commitment is for the rest of their lives. Now, it would be wonderful if the rest of your lives could be just like this day and the beauty of it. And I can pronounce and say, this is how it will be. 
Tim Keller in his book, The Meaning of Marriage, opens by saying marriage is glorious, but hard. It's a burning joy and strength, yet it is also blood, sweat, and tears. It is humbling defeats and exhausting victories. shocked when they found out that Jen and I had got engaged after only dating for four months. In fact, a lot of people came up to me and said, wait, Jen is getting married? To which I replies, oh my gosh, is he actually getting married? <laughs> um, but I was the only one living with Jen at the time, so only I knew how happy Kate really did make him and how happy he was to have found the one that he was meant to be with. Jenna was never the one to wait though, just like how when he saw Kate at the party they first met at, he didn't take long to find the nearest stripper pole and start dancing for her. <laughs> um, in fact, after the first day they did meet, he would not stop talking to me about her, telling me how excited he was to find her and how pretty he thought she was and how he thought that she could be the one. <laughs> in all seriousness, Chandler, I have always looked up to you as a brother, as most people here also look up to you because you're built like an oak tree. <laughs> but congratulations to the happy couple. Fast forward to September of last year, I had lunch on campus with Kate and she mentioned this guy but she wouldn't tell me his name yet and <laughs> jumping to the end of the month I was getting ready for my own wedding and Kate and I were on our way to my bachelorette party and all she could talk about was Chandler and how amazing he was and I knew then that he was the one. And God obviously had a plan in mind when he brought Kate to Iowa State because she had a husband to meet. And today I'm so happy for them and all that they're about to embark on in marriage. And I just want to wish them the best in life and all that's to come. So here's to Kate and Chandler.